The Lord's Prayer is spoken by the majority of the world's 2.2 billion Christians, and is cited by the Bible as the way Jesus taught His disciples to pray. However Pope Francis has argued the Italian, and indeed the English translation, go against the teachings of the Church. In the much recited prayer, followers of the faith call on God to lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Speaking to Italian broadcasters, the Pope argued this was incorrect. Getty Pope Francis claimed translations of the prayer go against the teachings of the Church. Related articles Pope Francis lands in Bangladesh after controversial trip to Burma Pope Francis celebrates huge outdoor mass to ordain new priests. He said, it is not a good translation because it speaks of a God who induces temptation he added Christians in France had adapted the prayer to get around the issue. Pope Francis said, the French have modified the prayer to do not let me fall into temptation, because it is me who falls, not the Lord who tempts me to then see how I fall. Last month the head of the Catholic Church admitted that he had from time to time, fallen asleep during prayer. When I pray, sometimes I fall asleep. The 80-year-old pontiff revealed in an interview for the TV 2000 channel. He added, Saint Therese did it too, in reference to a 19th century French nun, whose simplicity, he has said, has been a great influence on his life. The pontiff went on to share that praying should make Christians feel like children lying in their father's arms, implying that relaxation is an important part of the process. Getty in the Bible, the Lord's Prayer is taught by Jesus to His disciples. The Pope was born in Buenos Aires, Argentina, as Jorge Mario Bergoglio and worked as a nightclub bouncer before beginning his seminary studies. He was ordained a Catholic priest in 1969 and was Argentina's Provincial Superior of the Society of Jesus from 1973 to 1979. He became the Archbishop of Buenos Aires in 1998 and was created a Cardinal in 2001 by Pope John Paul II. During his unorthodox times the chief voice in Catholicism, Pope Francis has repeatedly waited in on matters of international politics to offer his wisdom. Earlier this week he criticized Donald Trump for his decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Pope Francis said, I cannot keep quiet about my deep worry about the situation that has been created in the last few days. He also urged Mr. Trump not to make the declaration about Jerusalem, as it was vital to recognize the rights of all people, in the Holy Land to continue dialogue. Pope Francis said he hoped wisdom and prudence prevail, in order to avoid adding new elements of tension to a global panorama that is already convulsed and marked by so many cruel conflicts. Getty the Pope worked as a nightclub bouncer before ascending to the highest level of the Catholic Church. And last month it was revealed the religious figure had wanted to reach out to North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un as that the young despot forges a path towards all-out war on the Korean Peninsula. The Vatican City is reportedly attempting to open a dialogue between Pyongyang and the Holy See in order to avoid a nuclear war. The Pope wants to speak to despot Kim directly, a high-ranking cardinal has revealed and what would be a historic and unexpected intervention. Cardinal Peter Tuxnevgana, 
head of the dicastery for promoting integral human development, admitted he was not sure how this could happen but said dialogue was a priority. The wheels were already in motion for an unlikely phone call between Pope Francis and Kim, he said. Cardinal Twixen said, the dicastery is already in communication with the Korean Episcopal Conference to see how we may have contact also with the regime on the other side. We are exploring the possibilities of speaking to them directly. We cannot say right now exactly when this contact will happen. Related articles Pope confesses, I've fallen asleep during prayers Pope wades into North Korea crisis amid tensions and fear of World War III holy smoke. Pope bans sale of cigarettes in Vatican, cigars are okay.